Hello, welcome to this presentation. I'm Maurice Dimba. Today also I want to take you through the ZW CAD uh, architecture. And today I want to show you how to place grids once you've created your, your walls like this. Creating a wall is very simple. Just come to to wall here and create a wall like that. Let me just show you that. Just can, you can just create a wall. Though the settings of wall settings are here, but these are a default uh, dimension for a brick. But let me just show you how to create a wall first. Once you've created your wall, like that, just continue. You've created uh, a nice plan of your choice, and you once you've created uh, the the nice plan of your choice inside this uh, ZW CAD architecture, and you want to place the grid lines uh, for the house and place the dimensions. It's quite simple. This is my choice of of, of the plan of a house, or, 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 or I mean, uh, which I've done, and I want to place the grid lines for this particular building or plan now once i've done this what i'll do i'll go straight to grid grid here and click on grid then uh, i'll pick on grid i'll pick on grid line i'll click ok No, I'll, I'll, I'll escape that. I'll come to grid to wall. I'll pick on what um, I mean, wall to grid. So the moment I've, I've, I've picked on that, take a look down here and on, on the command line, you'll see, please select the wall. Now what I'll do, I'll select the whole wall, the whole walls, and uh, click at that point and right click. So the moment you right click, the grid lines appear here. These are the grid lines. So I want a mirror of this. So what I'll do, I'll just highlight everything here. Then uh, come to modify here. Then I'll come to, I'll come to mirror. It works exactly the way AutoCAD is, the, though this one just an improved version of uh, Another program from other pr uh, from other developers that uh, that are called ZW CAD architecture is very powerful for architect for architects and uh, and s st uh, s civil engineers and structural engineers. This is very powerful software. Now I want to mirror this. I'll come I'll come to modify. I'll then move to mirror. So the moment I'll cl I've clicked mirror. I want to pick my mirror line. I want this spot to be my mirror line. I'll snap there and snap right here. I'll right click and enter that. This is my mirror line. This is my mirror line. This is my mirror line. Now what I want to do I wanted a similar building on this end. So this is what I wanted to do. Now I'll come back again and uh, I'll undo this. I'll undo this. I'm back where I was. I'll try and select that. The reason why I've done I've undone that. I wanted a provision where I'll be able to place my staircase here. Now, now what I'll do, I'll come here under line. I'll minimize this now and uh, come to line. So, to get the commands for for to get the menu commands, you come to draw. Or if you are familiar with the the keyboard shortcuts, you can just come here and type L for for line. Just when, once you've typed L, just enter that. And uh, I want, I want my staircase to be one point one meters. So I'll feed twenty two, two point two meters here, twenty two hundred. 
and then turn on the, on the keyboard right there right click to end that now i'll use this as my mirror line now i'll click on that right click then come to modify and then click copy and just move this i've, I've picked on the grid which is not uh, a good idea i want to copy this just to guide me in creating a, a, a mirror line while creating an, another copy on this end now i've clicked on that i'll come to modify here and click copy i want to copy this one down here this direction by either one meter i'll enter on the keyboard right click just to uh, to deactivate that command now from here i want to mirror this and uh, i want to this 2.2 is a provision for my is a provision for the for the staircase now i'll highlight all this I'll highlight all this I'll highlight all that then i'll come to modify then come to mirror then i'll pick a midpoint here a midpoint here i need a midpoint here but it's not actually locating the midpoint here for me i need a mid i need po a midpoint there yeah, this is the midpoint now i'll come again and highlight everything and come to modify then come to mirror then i'll zoom closer to locate a midpoint here this is my midpoint and i want to uh, at that point to be my mirror line to act as my mirror line then i'll snap on right on that spot right click and click enter now i've mirrored this i've mirrored that now these points are now useless to us now let me just undo that just to check on on what i've deleted i want to delete that i want also to delete this i want to delete that let me pick on that i want to delete that perfect this is exactly what i wanted to do now i want to do do away with the grids now i want to do away with the grid lines now and place an, a new one now i'll delete all this i'll delete all that I'll delete all this. Perfect. And I want to join the two. Now I'll come to wall here. I'll pick on wall. I'll pick on wall. And snap right here. I'll snap right there. And join this wall with this one. is not active i'll escape that and come back to wall snap there and snap here i've created a wall there so they're linked now i'll right click and enter that i'll escape to get out of that command now i'll come back to grid i'll minimize this and come back to grid i'll pick on wall to grid then i'll pick all the, all the walls following the inst instruction from the command line here to select the wall i'll select all these wall then right click then all my walls have been selected and the grid lines have been placed now i want to place the dimensions for the grid now i'll come to grid dimensions and just pick on that corner on one of one grid and end up here 
that is the dimension for my grid, then do the same thing at this end, do the same thing right there. Perfect. Right click to exit that command. Now this is, is our building fully dimensions using grid dimensions. As I told you previously that uh, this is another very, very important software. We ca you can combine these tackle structures and you can come up with a very, very nice drawings and you can coordinate, coordinate between these and AutoCAD and tackle structures. I, I thought of sharing this with you and uh, I think this will be helpful to you. At that spot, I would like to end up there and uh, next time I'll show you how to place the staircase on a similar building or structure. And from there, I'll take you, I will be importing this drawing to take a structure to place uh, the, I mean, the structural body of the whole building. We shall import this into Tecla structures and work on it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm Morris Limba and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye bye. Let's meet then. Though you can take a look of this, you can see we have a building we have here I, ma I marked for for my for um, I mean for the dining and there's a bedroom, there's a bedroom, there's a corridor, there's a bedroom, there's uh, uh, the uh, the bathroom and uh, another bathroom, there's uh, the pantry, there's a kitchen, there's a uh, there's a veranda, there's uh, a staircase for accessing this side and accessing this side. Though we can go further and start placing uh, the doors and the windows just to. Now I'll minimize this and uh, come here. Just this one, just brief. I'll come to windows there and uh, pick uh, either window. I want to place a window here. I want to place a window. The moment you click window, you'll be able to see the size of the window right there. So I'll just go ahead and just click, uh, give you a sample of how it looks. I want to place a window right there. See, that's nice. So the rest will leave for the next presentation. Right click. Or place escape. So we'll undo this. We'll do that officially when uh, we start working on it officially. We'll just click on that and click delete. So next time we'll, I'll, I'll be able to show you how to work fully in this kind or this type of building. Once again, bye bye and let's meet then.